Welcome back. Uh, there is no doubt that many people, including most of my clients, are a little nervous about what is around the corner in the next six months, uh, even the next month or two. So with the pandemic here, the market, which made a major correction in uh, March and into early April, and then has rebounded quite surprisingly. Um, and now moving into the rest of the year, uh, along with the election, lots of people are kind of on edge and they're wondering, you know, what should we do? And I think for those long-term investors, you know, the vanilla answer is keep things as they are. Uh, but we're going to talk about some, you know, other choices you may have in there. Uh, but let's, let me first give you some statistics that I found. So from 2000, from 1900 to 2015, so keep that in perspective, that the stock market went down minus 5% on average three times every single year and lasted approximately 45 days. Minus 10%, which is considered a correction, uh, happened about one time per year every year, and on average lasted a little over 100 days. Minus 15% or more happened once every two years and lasted over 200 days. And minus 20%, which is considered a bear market, happens once every three and a half years and lasts just under a year. And when I say last, it really means what's the recovery. So my first concern, and if we go to a slide here, and I, I have shown this slide before, um, but very important here. So let's say we had a client that had a million dollars and they're in retirement, and they had a 60-40 split. So up top they've got, on this first left side, they've got 600,000 in the market and 400,000 outside of the market. Uh, so that 400,000 is protected. They're proportionally taking, if they needed $10,000 a month, they're taking 6,000 from the market and 4,000 from the bonds. Let's go up to chart number two in the black. On the top left, you'll see, let's say they had the million dollars today. We have no idea where we are in the market correction cycle. How long on average historically does it take if you go right across to get back to that million dollars again? And the answer is 22 months or approximately two years. So as we said, we were taking it out 60-40 Let's look at the yellow box there, and in that yellow box it says $8,000 was needed per month. So that's what they were withdrawing a month. 60% of that $8,000 is coming from the market when the market was good. Now the market is bad, we can have to shut off that spigot that's coming from the $600,000. We need to take the full $8,000 from the $400,000 bucket. And what we can see here is for, if you did that for 22 months of recovery, you needed at least $176,000 uh, in order to do that. And so what you can see is this client is in very good shape uh, to do that. The idea is now, can they mentally survive the downturn of the market? But this is a good example of showing you how well protected you are. Just make sure you're not pulling from the $600,000 bucket during a market downturn. Okay, so what are our investment choices here um, for 2020? Number one is you could liquidate your account. And if you liquidate your account, the odds of the perfect timing for this are 25%. However, the backside is when do you get back in the market? It drastically is less than 25%. So for you to liquidate now, try to get in at the best time, is going to be very, very low odds to do that. In particular, a bigger issue is you may never get back in because you may, as the market takes off, you may say, let me wait a little bit, let me wait a little bit, and that's what we see. Number two, partially liquidate your account. I'm not totally against this. If you want some balance there, maybe taking 20% go to cash, keep everything else kind of well balanced. Number three, stay invested. I think you need to have a thick skin, but I, that's going to be for my long-term investors. The vanilla answer is stay invested. Remember, when we come back, we're going to talk about spousal Social Security benefits, and we'll answer a question from our uh, audience. Thanks. Welcome back to Successful Living. We've got a viewer question. Uh, Robin from Warwick asked, my husband 68, is 68 years old and collecting Social Security of $2,000 per month. I am 62 and my benefit is $500 per month. Can I get 50% of his benefit or do I get my own benefit? So Robin, the answer is actually a good one for you that you do get the greater of your benefit or half of your uh, spouse's benefit. Also make sure that uh, if you ever do get divorced and you never got remarried, that you may still have some eligibility with your ex-spouse there. Check out ssa.gov. We thank you very much for joining us today. We'll see you next week.